Monday, August 26, 2019. Hello, dear internet users. Welcome to this new edition of the Press Review on Journal du Cameroon Television. Let's begin this edition with the Post newspaper, which headlines on a plea for school to resume in the Anglophone regions made by Anglophone bishops to separatist leaders. Allow children return to school, we don't want illiterates, they say. According to the Post newspaper, the Vice President of the Bamenda Provincial Episcopal Conference, Monsignor Andrew Nkeya, has exhorted separatist leaders in the diaspora to allow children in the rest of Anglophone regions to return to school. The paper equally talks about the reported mass exodus presently witnessed in Cameroon's northwest and southwest regions as lockdown looms. It says travelers are stranded as buses are in short supply at various agencies. The paper further proposes a story on C.C. Kuayok, Tabi and Co., who allegedly wrote from jail, telling Southern Cameroonians their conviction should be seen as a major push to the independence restoration quest and not as a setback. According to the said message, their live jail is another demonstration of the socio-political, the cultural and economic nightmare the Southern Cameroonians have suffered since October 1, 1961. You want to know more about this message from the Ambazonia leaders? Go to page 4 of the Post newspaper of Monday, August 26, 2019. We move on to the Guardian Post newspaper, which comes back on the mass exodus reported from Cameroon's northwest and southwest regions owing to the lengthy lockdown announced by separators. The paper says the situation has forced many Anglophones to take refuge in Francophone towns. The paper says the situation has forced many Anglophones to take refuge in Francophone towns. The paper equally proposes an editorial titled Top Enslaving Anglophones in the Name of Independent Struggle. Editorial you can read on page 4 of the Guardian Post newspaper of this Monday, August 26, 2019. Let's end this press review with the lone daily bilingual newspaper, Cameron Tribune, to talk about cancel development. The paper says Garrett 2 wins Best Performance Award thanks to the proposition of a number of projects that will generate income, especially among the female community and thus improve the living conditions of the people. These moves, according to Cameroon Tribune, have enabled the Garrett 2 Council to win the FACOM Award of 50 million francs CFA for 2019. The Council got her award last Friday. During the ceremony chaired by the Minister of Local Development, George Elanga Obam, get the details on page 7 of today's edition of Cameroon Tribune. It is with this story from Cameroon Tribune that we put an end to this edition of the Press Review on Journal du Cameroon Television. Thanks for watching and let's take the appointment for our next edition.